Hey, this is Chris again with Tweak Town. I'm here with Aaron Neal. Uh, we're at the Corsair booth, and we're here to check out C Link, Corsair Link. It's a new software interface uh, that that ties all your hardware together. So, Aaron, why don't you uh, get us started and tell us about C Link? Excellent. So, C Link is a software and hardware package that is put together to give the user. Um, pretty much adjustment over everything in the system. What we have here is our interface for Corsair Link that the user would be looking at. Um, this is all uh, user selectable. You can move anything around. It's a drag and dr drop interface so that you can actually change the background to whatever you want. You can actually take a photo of your system and import it into here. So you can look at it right here. We have it set up with our 800D case, the 800D background and the items that are on the screen are actually represented by the hardware in the system. So right now we have an NVIDIA GPU, um, our CPU, and our H60 cooler, which actually has an internal thermistor that we're able to put back to our hardware, and we can control different aspects of the system through this. When we have our groups tab, any temperature or wattage has, an, has its own group, and each of the items can be drag and drop to be controlled by that specific group so that you can set alerts so that your fans will speed up or speed down based on a temperature or that an LED light package will get to red or blue or whatever color you associate with it if your hardware starts to overheat. Now the LED controller that's part of the Corsair Link hardware gives you the ability to change the color inside your case that is completely user selectable and it will change on the fly. It has the ability to pulse if you wish to do so. And it can also be temperature controlled if you uh, associate the LED controller with a temperature or other hardware part of the system. The one thing that um, this technology is also demonstrating is the ability to import other hardware. Right now, what we have is the ability to monitor the power that is being used by the graphics card in the system. So if we were to start a, a little torture test of Furmark in the background, it'll actually go out and say that the GPU starts to use power, and as it uh, reads back, it'll show up here. We also have the ability to graph, and hopefully it is still working. And the graphing part of this will allow you to have temperature, RPM versus time, and the power. Um, this is all uh, exportable to CSV or to HTML. You know, one of the, the neatest functions with, uh, with your software, uh, working in conjunction with your case and all that, that I've seen is, is the color. Right, it, it's very cool. Can you show us how to change the, the color on the on the inside LEDs? Certainly. So, on the actual setup screen, you'll have LED one or LED two. Um, there's two channels on a single LED controller. Uh, you'll be able to double click on it, and it brings up uh, an RGB LED setup panel. Uh, right now, it's on temperature controlled. You would just do custom color. Now with temperature control, that actually means that it changes color depending on the temperature of your of your components, right? Of whatever you associate it with. So you could associate it with a CPU, with a graphics card, uh, with a hard drive that has smart built into it, um, one of the other features. Wow, so when a drive's ready to die, like everything can go red and you know. Yes. It Stuff's also, about to happen. Yes. Can you show us the red? Show us how to how to change this over real fast. I mean, there's the manual setting, obviously, and also this uh, this custom setting. There we go. Oh, there's a nice gradual in between step too. So you, you're not just stuck with the red, green, and blue. Uh, you can you can come up with custom colors as well. So yes. Very nice. Hmm? It's, Do you happen to know what the color range is? Um, what we have here is just the RGB panel, so it should be anything that's in that range. Okay, very nice. Well, Aaron, it was great talking to you. This is Chris with Tweak Town, and uh, stick around for more great videos from the CES show floor.